Our new plan for immigration is driven by three fair but firm objectives. First, to increase the fairness of our system so we can protect and support those in genuine need of asylum. Second, to deter illegal entry into the UK, breaking the business model of people smugglers and protecting the lives of those they endanger. Third, to remove more easily from the UK those with no right to be here. Let me take in each in turn, Mr Speaker. First, we will continue to provide safe refuge to those in need, strengthening support for those arriving through safe and legal routes. People coming to the UK through resettlement routes will be granted indefinite leave to remain. They will, will receive more support to learn English, find work and integrate. And I will also act to help those who have suffered injustices by amending the British nationality law so that members of the Windrush generation will be able to obtain British citizenship more easily. Second, this plan marks a step change in our approach as we toughen our stance to deter illegal entry and the criminals that endanger life by, ena by enabling it. Many illegal arrivals have travelled through a safe country like France to get to the UK, where they could and should have claimed asylum. We must act to reduce the pull factors of our system and disincentivise illegal entry. For the first time, whether people enter the UK legally or illegally will have an impact on how their asylum claim progresses and on their status in the UK if that claim is successful. We will deem their claim as inadmissible and make every effort to remove those who enter the UK legally having travelled through a safe country first in which they could and should have claimed asylum. Only where removal is not possible will those who have successful claims having entered illegally receive a new temporary protection status. This is not an automatic right to settle. They will be regularly reassessed for removal and will include limited access to benefits and limited family reunion rights. Our tough new stance will also include new maximum life sentences for people smugglers and facilitators, new rules to stop unscrupulous people posing as children and strengthening enforcement powers for border force. Third, we will seek to rapidly remove those with no right to be here in the UK, establishing a fast-track appeals process, streamlining the appeals system and making quicker removal decisions for failed asylum seekers and dangerous foreign criminals. We will tackle the practice of meritless claims which clog up the courts with last-minute claims and appeals, a fundamental unfairness that lawyers tell me frustrates them too. Because for too long, our justice system has been gained. Almost three quarters of migrants in detention raised last minute new claims, challenges or other issues, with over eight in 10 of these eventually being denied as valid reasons to stay in the UK. Enough is enough. Our new plan sets out a one-stop process to require all claims to be made up front. No more endless meritless claims to frustrate removal. No more stalling justice. Our new system will be faster and fairer and will help us better support the most vulnerable. Mr Speaker, our new plan builds on the work already done to take back control of our borders, building a system that upholds our reputation as a country where criminality is not rewarded, but which is a haven for those in need. There are no quick fixes or shortcuts to success, but this long-term plan, pursued doggedly, will fix our broken system. We know, Mr Speaker, that members of the Opposition would prefer a different plan, one that embraces the idea of open borders. Many of them were reluctant to end free movement, with members opposite on record as having said that all immigration controls are racist or sexist. And to those who say we lack compassion, I simply say that while people are dying, we must act to deter these journeys. And if you don't like our plan, where is yours?